chapter four previously we have learned the first one which is ratio okay so today we are going to continue on rates uh, by the way regarding your exam so it will be postponed uh, since that we are having the mco right now it will postpone to the 17th of may so the week before the exam then we continue with the revision so right now during this time i think it's better for us to continue with the lesson so that's why today I'm going to continue with the second subtopic on chapter four, which is rats. Okay, so we look at rats today, eh? a very simple one. First, we are going to see what is the relationship between ratios and rats. Okay, so before we see the relationship, there is a mind stimulation, uh, mind stimulation activity over here, the exploration activity from your book. Okay, so this is given a table with the situation. So we were asked to find out the ratio in the form of A over B, this one, uh, and then find out the quantities involved and also the units of measurement. So for the first example over here, they already give you the answer. So the situation, let's go through this one. A car travels 285 kilometers in three hours. So the ratio in the form of A over B will be 285 kilometer over three hours. The quantities involved, the 285 kilometer over here is referring to distance and the three hours over here is referring to time. Okay, so the units of measurement is kilometer and hour. So over here, before we continue with the rest, you need to identify what are the quantities involved. For example, if I say kilogram, what is the quantity? Anyone? What is the quantity for kilogram? No answer, what is the quantity? This one, what is the quantity for kilogram, kg? Kg is? Is mass. Okay, what about if I said um, two second? Two second, what is the quantity? Time. Correct. If I said um, 20 centimeter, what is the quantity? Distance. Length. Length. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit confusing over here. Some of you said length, some of you said distance, right? But then the actual answer is actually distance. So you just remember for centimeter, kilometer, meter, everything, the quantity involved, we use it as distance. Okay, what about uh, square centimeter? This one, square centimeter. Oops, hold on. Square centimeter. What is the quantity involved for this one? Can you guess? No idea? We okay. this, one. this one is actually a area. Are you okay, class? Yes. yes. So I'll be asking question from time to time. Huh? You'll get ready to answer my question later on. So let's continue. So first, we look at the situation for the second one here. A plant grows 24 centimeters in four months. So this one, it means it is 24 centimeters over four months. So what is the quantity involved? What is the 24 centimeter here? Okay. Uh, yes. Distance. What about four months? Time. time. Very good. It is time. Okay. Next, what is the units of measurement for this question here? Centimeter and months. Yes, very good. And it's actually not months. Ah. Well, actually, we refer it to... Okay, month, month, month. Sorry, because I was referring to the next question. Okay, centimeter and month, correct. Now, look at the third question right now. A baby's mass increases by 1.3 kilogram in 60 days. So the ratio will be 1.3 kilogram over 60 days. So what is the quantities involved? Weight. Mass. It's not, okay, it's mass, correct. And? Times. Times. Correct, time. Time. So, 
Yeah, we go through we go to the next one. Huh? The units of measurement will be kilogram and days. Yes, kilogram and day. Okay, next one. Karim's pulse rate. So pulse rate, this one is about the heartbeat. Huh? It's 75 beats per minute. So for the ratio, I should write down 75 beats. Sorry, bits per minute means one minute. If I didn't write down the one nah, per minute. So the quantities involved, can you guess what is the quantity involved? Distance. Pardon? It's not distance anymore. Huh? Can you guess what is the quantity involved, class? This one. This is count thread, right? Count thread is counted based on the number of bits. So the quantity involved is the number of bits. Okay, I write down now. Huh? Number of bits. And what is the minute referring to? Time. 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 Thank you. So second minute hour. All of it is referring to the time. Okay, we continue with the next one. What is the units of measurement? Bits and minutes. Bits and minutes. Okay, it's actually bits per minute, right? Bits per minute, we use BPM. I'm not sure whether you have seen this before. For example, when you go to the hospital, they use the machine to test your heartbeat to get your blood pressure. So you can see at the back of it, the BPM. BPM stands for bits per minute, okay? And what is the other units for measurement? What is the other unit for measurement? This one, this is referring to the same one, right? Which is yes. also minutes. So it's BPM and minutes. Okay, next one. Why it keeps uh, alarming over here? Uh, some of you log in and log out, is it? No, right? Okay, I want to ask, is Jaden here today? Jaden, are you Not here? Yet. Not yet. What happened to him? Okay, never mind. We just continue. So we look at the last one here. The force, okay? Acting on the surface area of one square meter is two newtons. Have you learned this before? About no. No. no huh? Okay. Newton is no. the unit measurement for the force. Huh? Okay. So the ratio will be two newtons over one square meter. Okay. What is the quantity involved? Can you guess? It's actually in the answer. Areas. Okay. Area, correct. And the other one is? Distance. It's not distance. It's actually the force. Force. So area and force, correct. Okay. What about the units of measurement to represent the area? This one. Newtons and square meter. Square meter. Correct. It is n, uh, n to represent Newton, and the area in square meter will be m to the power of 2. Okay, so you bear in mind, uh, you need to know all the quantities involved and then the units of measurement later on. Okay, can we continue? Yes. 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 Let's continue. Uh. So from the activity, it gives you the conclusion here, the red shows how two quantities with different units are related to each other. So actually, red is the relationship between two quantities with different units. So you can see from the activity that we have over here, we have all of it, we have two units, the centimeter and month, kilogram and day, bit per minute and minute, newton and square meter. So all of it is actually referring to red. So when we write down the ratio over here, all of these are actually referring to the red already. All of this. So red is the relationship of two units of measurement with two different units. Okay? So now we continue. Let us look at example five here. 
Okay, state the rate and the two quantities including the units involved in each of the following situations. Okay, A. Fatin buys 2 kg of mangoes at the total price of Rm10. So can you guess what is the rate? The rate will be... 2 kg 10 over, ringgit. 10 ringgit. over 2 kg. Yes, very good. It's 10 ringgit over 2 kg. Can you give me the answer if I ask you how much is the mangoes if it is 1 kilogram only? 5 ringgit. Five ringgit. Yes, 5 ringgit because 2 kilogram represents 10. 10 ringgit. Is 5 ringgit. Okay, so now we already done with the red. So we need to state the two quantities involved. So the you write down like this huh? later on in the question later the two quantities involved are what is the quantity that involved this and this what are these ringgit okay ringgit is actually the total amount of you remember this word total amount of money in money in rm and what about kilogram this is referring to what this mass. Mass. It's actually mass. 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 so in bracket kilogram okay so the two quantities involved are total amount of money in rm whenever you see the amount of money eh, you just use this word total amount of money and the mass in kilogram okay so A, we have done it. Now we continue with B. A car consumes one liter of petrol for a distance of 12 kilometers. So you see, uh, the car uses one liter of petrol for a distance of 12 kilometers. So can you guess how to write down the rate? 12 kilometers over, 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 over one liter. Yes, 12 kilometers over one liter. Now, my question here. If I want to go as far as 24 kilometers, how much liter of petrol do I need to consume? Two liter. Two liter. Very good. Two liter can go to 24 kilometers. Okay, now we continue with the two quantities. So we just write down the two quantities. So you get ready, check out what is the two quantities that involve. Okay, the two quantities involved are what is the quantity referring to? This one? Distance. In bracket kilometer. Yeah, in kilometer. And the other one, this one? Volume. Volume. Very good. In bracket liter. Volume. In liter. So you remember all of this, huh? These are the quantities involved. Okay, do you have any questions for this example? No. 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 So we go ahead. Okay. Now we are going to see no. the conversion of units. So you look at the picture over there. What is the picture showing? Tomato. Eh, jelly. Cherry tomatoes. Tomatoes, right? Tomatoes. Okay. So it's given store A and store B. Tomatoes. So this store are selling different price of the tomatoes. The first store over here is selling 15 ringgit per kilogram. Whereas for store B, is 8 ringgit for 500 gram. Okay, now if you look at the question here, two stores sell cherry tomatoes from Cameron Highlands. Which store sells cherry tomatoes at a cheaper price? So you need to determine which one is cheaper. From here, you can't determine because this one is per kilogram. This one is per 500 gram. The units of measurement is different, right? The quantities is different. and uh, No, the unit of measurement is different. Okay, so to compare the price rates, you need to convert the unit first. For example, the kilogram, we convert into gram. Gram. So over here, gram. it's up to you which one you want to convert. You either convert the kilogram to gram or the gram to kilogram. So which one you want to convert, store A or store B? Gram to kilogram. Store B. Store B. The price of cherry tomato as Toby. Okay, the price of cherry tomatoes at 
stall B. So we want to look at B. Now we write down the red first. The red is R M at per 500 gram. Correct or not? Yes. 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 Now, if I want to convert it to kilogram, what do I need to do with the with the 500 gram over here? This is at over 500 now. What can I do to change it to kilogram? Any answer? I multiply by? 100. Therefore, it will become 8 times 2 is 16. 16. Is 1,000. 1, 1, so we know that 1,000 gram is equal to 1 kilogram, right? Yes. 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 Is RM sixteen per kg because this one is already one thousand gram equal to one kilogram. Okay, so now can we compare which store is selling a cheaper cherry tomatoes? This one is fifteen ringgit per kilogram. This one is sixteen ringgit per kilogram. So which one is cheaper, class? Stall A. Stall A. How much cheaper? One ringgit. One ringgit. One ringgit. Okay. So can you do it later on? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's continue. Now we look at example six here. Okay. This is the last example for today. Huh? Very simple only. That's why the red over here is very, uh, I think, two pages only you finish learning. Okay. Let's continue here. A. Rajan is riding his bicycle at a speed of 5 meter per second. Convert 5 meter per second to kilometer per hour. Okay, simple. What you need to do is you copy down the red first, which is 5 meter per second. So we know that 5 meter per second is actually 5 meter over 1 second. Are you okay? Yes. 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 Uh -huh. So now we are learning to convert into kilometer. So this part is actually five. When it comes to divide, huh, over means divide. So we need to change to division, meaning that this is five meter divided by one second. You just remember, if it is over, it means divide. So we need to change to the operation of divide like this. Okay, only from there we can convert into kilometer easily. Because from meter to kilometer, you need to do some calculation. So before we continue with all of this, let's do some simple uh, recap first. One kilometer, can you tell me, is equal to how many meter? 1,000 one meter. One meter equal to how many centimeters? 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. Yes. 1 centimeter equal to how many millimeter? 10, Ten, Ten millimeter. Oh, very good. Now I changed to 1 kilogram. Go back to just now. Equal to how many gram? 1,000 gram. 1 liter equal to how many milliliter? 1,000 milliliter. Okay, so over here we have 5 meter. We need to convert it to kilometer. So you can see from meter to kilometer. What do you need to do? Multiply or divide? Divide. Yes, correct. So it will be 5 divided by 1,000. So once you divide by 1,000, it turns into kilometer already. So you can write like this. Okay, the divide, you continue. Just write down divide. Okay, one second, we need to change to hour. So you already know one hour equal to how many minutes? 60, 60, 60 minutes. Right. One minute equal to how many seconds? 60 seconds. 60, 60, 60 seconds. 60 seconds. So we need to change to second back to hour. So you, need, you see, we need to divide how many times of 60? Two times, right? Yes. 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 Times 60, meaning that one divided by 60 and divide by 60 another time. So now it becomes hour. Okay. 
So we continue with the calculation without the units right now, which will be 5 over 1,000. Change the division to multiplication. So 6 times 6 is 36. Then you copy the 0. We have 2 zero at the back. Okay, over 1. Are you okay like this? Yes. yes. So now I cancel yes. 0. We have 2 zero. I cancel with 2 zero over here. After that, the 5, 5 times 1, 5, 5 times 2, 10. So I can get the answer already. It means 36 divided by 2. Divided by 2 equal to 18, right? Yes. Then you find the unit given. This is kilometer. So 18 kilometer. Divide means per. So at the back, the unit is our our. So we got it already. Five meters per second is equal to eighteen kilometers per hour. Okay. So now we move on to the next question over here. B. Now you look at B. Yeah. The density. Do you know what is the density? Yes. Yes. Ketumpatan. Ketumpatan. Ya, bagus. Ketumpatan. Ketumpatan. Very good. Can you give me example about the density? Any example about the density that you have, you still remember? Contoh, yeah. Oil and water. Which one is high? Which one has higher density? You hear me or not? Oil or and water. These two. Oil. Which one Oil. Sure. Oil. Uh, oil. The oil. one that has higher density will what will happen to it? What will happen to the one with higher density class? Oil. It will sink, right? Sink. So Oil and water. Oil is always floating on top. So water actually has higher density compared to oil. Understand? Yes. Okay, so today we are going to learn the density right now. Huh? You look at the question here. The density of a type of metal. Metal besi, yeah, is 2700 kilogram per meter cube. Okay, so you can see the unit involved is kilogram and meter cube or cube meter. State the density of this metal in gram per centimeter cube. Okay, simple. You don't have to worry. We write down the red first, the density, the red of the density. So density is equal to 2,700 kilogram per meter cube. So I write down 2,700 kg per meter cube meaning it is one meter cube okay now i need to convert the kilogram to gram easy right because one kilogram is equal to 1000 gram you know that already and also convert the meter cube to centimeter cube so to convert meter cube to centimeter cube you we are going to do the conversion later on huh? i showed it to you huh? first we convert the kilogram to gram so it will be 2700 multiplied by 1000 so this one is in gram already now over the one meter cube so i have to multiply how much now one meter is equal to 100 centimeter so i continue here one meter cube is actually equal to one meter times one meter times, times one meter. meter right so now if i want to convert this one meter to Centimeter, it is equal to 100, right? Yes. Yes. It becomes 100 centimeter times. 100 centimeter times 100 centimeter. Okay, can you tell me how many zero all together? Two, four, six. 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 One, six. two, three, four, five, six. It becomes one million. Right, not? So I yes. can write down over here, it's actually 1 million. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to you. Lah. You also can follow the book. 
how does the book right uh the book something like this they wrote this it is equal to this part uh, 100 times 100 times 100 okay now we continue with the calculation over here so i'm going to do the cancellation to make it faster i have one zero two zero i cancel one by one another zero i cancel with this one one zero cancel with this one one zero cancel with this one so the remaining is 27 divided by 10. 27 divided by 10 equal to what in this note? 2.7. 2. 2. 7. Okay, so we continue, copy down the gram, and then it's over. This one is cubic centimeter, right? So just write down over cubic centimeter. Or if I write down in the word, it will be 2.7 gram per cubic centimeter. Both answers are acceptable, huh? so you don't have to worry which one should I write down. Both is acceptable. Are you okay, class? Yes. 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 Any questions so far? Any question? No. 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 So, this is basically what we learned today. Huh? So, I just summarized everything. You learned about red. Okay. Red is the two quantities with different units okay so you can see this part two quantities with different units are called red huh? so the example is kilometer per hour centimeter per month kilometer per day bits per minute newtons per square meter okay and then you learn the calculation on finding the quantities and also the red okay you try to convert the red and then the last one is you change the units of conversion and you learn about the density okay so what is the exercise that i'm going to give you today is later on you go to your gc i show it to you so this is your gc only 25 turn in now for the attendance okay so your gc over here is already in this is the exercise that i want you to do the rest you all still with me right okay the red yeah. already yes so you look at the red part over here. So this is the worksheet that I want you to do. So I gave you the instruction if you don't know how to hand in the work. Okay, after you have done it, check your mark and then you just need to print screen this part. Okay, you add or create the button on the right and then you choose drawing and paste your mark and click share. So you do it right now. Everyone, you do it right now. I want to see whether you have problem or not. You go to your GC. Go to your GC yeah, and then open up the live worksheet. So you try to finish up all the questions in there. And then you capture the mark and turn into me. Are you okay? Yes. Yeah, no questions. Huh? So I'll stop here today. Okay, I'll see you next. Uh, what is the next lesson? Next Monday, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. Next Monday, yeah, with the next subtopic will be the proportions. Okay, see you all. Thank you, class. Okay, thank you, Madam. Thank you, Madam. Bye. 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 Bye